fucking yelling at my face. And <laughs> right there right, let me get three of them bitches <laughs> because of two drinks yep because two burgers oh my god you know me freaking it's okay get alcohol oh no you can't get alcohol it has to be high c it's okay extra drinks at home bruh also ask for ranch and sweet and sour though hey what she order fish filet <laughs> hello Hey yo, what's going on guys? As you can see, where that McDonald's drive through. You know what I'm saying? And like we out here but y'all right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Alright, cuz. <laughs> um we gonna do the uh Cardi B meal. Yeah, can I get uh three orders of the Cardi B and offset meal? I just want seven for you. No, you can only get one. Like, really? Oh, That's counting. Yes, I have another order. I'm happy to give you a call. You hear that, bro? Three, you, I was here first. Can we also get some uh, ketchup, pickles, and salt? Can we also get some ketchup, pickles, and salt? And mustard. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I'm not <laughs> the disrespect is real. <laughs> Bro, I just want some Cardi B. And what? Off. <laughs> and offset? You know? Can we find love again? Is this time the end? You know who I'm talking to. I know you watch these videos. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I get three orders okay. of the Cardi B meal? Okay. And what type of drink? Uh, can I just do uh Coke all the way around? Uh, ranch and sweet and sour. Yeah, sauce. and then can I just get uh ranch and sweet and sour? Sure. Oh, uh, that's it. All right. All right, look, they're right there. <laughs> hey, get your card, bro. What? I'm paying? Yeah, I'll sell you. You didn't even do it last time. I don't have my card with me. Yeah, you didn't even sell it last time to me either. For yeah, the pokey. I did. Oh, for you the did. pokey? Oh, I did. You did it. Bro, you? No, you actually did it. Wait, wait, wait. All right, hold on. I'll just give you half, 30 bucks. Bro, hold the camera right, bro. It was all right, shaky, bro. Just, record cool. him, though. just hold it down here. Like that. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm in the frame, bro. bro let me show my my Z, bro. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. Can we go back to how it was? Before my pride got in between us. Screaming out your name, kick me out your place. Martha's here. <laughs> but for my pride got in between us. Hey, you know, bro, I'm gonna have to have like all these drinks, bro. It's three on two, four, six on six. That means I can fit two. I want you to get a couple. Hey, right, bro, keep recording me, bro. What you doing, man? I am. Can we go back to how it was? What? Before my pride got in between us. Bro, it's all flipped over though. Oh wait, did you have it that way? Yes, I had it that way. <laughs> Coronavirus, it's real. That's Cardi B, bro. No, what else did she do again? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> Look at that Cardi B meal. Oh, <laughs> oh no, as is uh, Meg B oh, yeah. You right, bro, my fault G, my fault G. Uh, I'm actually generally curious if you guys can leave something in the comments because none of y'all leave nothing in the comments, bro, bro. I'm actually curious about this question, bro. Because I saw a video. Uh, I saw this Woo Wop video 
well, it's his dad's channel. And they were talking about they're in they're at the store uh, buying like uh, body wash or something like that. And he was asking like his, his he was asking his squad like, how do you wash your cheeks? Like you know how you have the loofah and you use it on your body. Do you use that same loofah on your butt crack? <laughs> like how how do you like how do you wash your cheeks in the shop? Like what do you do? Are you asking me? What? Because I'm curious. I'm asking you and everyone that that's subscribed. Like how do you wash your cheeks? Like what do you do? Because in the video I saw, they were saying some weird stuff, bro. Like, how do you wash it, bro? I don't know. Like, you're wiping, I guess? No, like, in the shower. Oh, yeah. here, hold the camera. Hi. Hello. Thank you. God damn. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to hold all that. Shee. Bro, look at this, bro. <laughs> Six freaking drinks. Holy cow. I think I should add the other one in this one. So how do you... How, no, it's going to make it uneven. It's going to make the weight weird. No, I'm going to put this right here. Bro, so how do you wash your cheeks? I told you. It's just like you're wiping away. I don't use a loofah because that's like... I don't want to put that over my butt too. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So one of his friends used the loofah in his cheeks. The same one he used to wash his body and neck. Yeah, anyway. That's nasty, right? Yeah. Then he said he tried to come back with like he washed the loofah every time first. Like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? See, what I do is... Oh, ah! I think y'all can see me, bro. What I be doing... Is it still recording, bro? Yeah. What I do is... I squeeze... The... I have a lot... I have a separate washcloth, bro. How it was... Yeah. I don't know what it's supposed to be in there. Yeah. There's three fries in here. Yeah, one fry, right? One fry each one. It doesn't come with two burgers each? Yeah. Three six, yeah. Are the sauces in there? I think so. Alright, uh, right, let's go, bro. Alright, bro. So I, I, I wash my cheeks, bro. Like, so I have my towel. I wash my body first, right? <laughs> and then I squeeze the extra like juices in my towel over like my low on my low back so that it seeps down to my butt crack. <laughs> and then I use my hand and I wash my crack <laughs> like that. Okay, that sounds the most sanitary God, to God me. Damn. Like if I'm being honest, like that's like the most sanitary to me, bro. But what well, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm curious how all y'all be washing your cheeks, bro. You know? How do you guys wash your cheeks? Yeah, how do you guys wash your ass? How do you wash your cheeks, bro? Because I for sure am not using the same white towel, rubbing my crack, and then Goose, rubbing it all over my body, bro. That's kind of weird, bro. Plus, every time I take a shower, for some reason, bro, I always take a dump first anyway. So there's probably, like, a lot more, like, you know, poops on my crack. So I'm using the white towel, bro. That's disgusting, bro. I'm getting all that fecal matter on my neck. And I'm going to start breaking out and stuff. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. We're driving home now. Excuse me. We're about to go. <laughs> we about to go mukbang this thing, bro. <laughs> Yay! Yeah! All right, I'll see you guys at the house, bro. <laughs> I need to drop the soda. I need my shades, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right, bros. So we got this Mookie Bang. Dude, they forgot our freaking sauces. Everything's backwards, by the way, because it's a freaking reverse camera, bro. But yeah, there we go. Ketchup and that some nice. million islands. You know what I'm saying, bro? Hunted islands. Oh, that dude, like that cheese. came out fast, bro. <laughs> Pause. Bro, zesty counter. Editor, put the zesty counter on it. Oh! Fudge. All right, there we go, bro. All right, so the Cardi B and Offset meal. They forgot our sauce, so we're using Thousand Islands and ketchup. It comes with a quarter pounder Wilf cheese. Is it two of them? Oh, no, this is a regular 
cheesy wheezy burger. And fries. Got some loud fries for the guys. And an apple pie for the guys as well. Everything is reversed. Oh, and a Coke, a large one. <coughs> Should've got this yeah, the diet, bro. Man. But, uh, oh, I didn't even notice that. Should've got diet, but whatever, bro. I need some calories. I'm still off season, man. I don't compete. I don't start prepping yet. Yeah. So let's go ahead and dig into this, bro. And I'm also gonna ask you some intricate oh, questions. Not a, not a game, man. I found this website where it says, uh, ask your sister intricate questions. Watch. Questions, watch, to ask your little sister. Sheesh! So we're going to do that while we're eating this Mookie Bang. Uh, actually, you never actually introduce yourself in any of my videos, like, for real, for real. We just know you as the Fortnite character. So, go ahead and uh, tell him your name. Um. Without the food in your mouth. That's nasty. There ain't no guys going to love you for that. <laughs> You eating the cheeseburger first? Yeah. Um, my name is Ariel. Yeah, you can call her Ariel or Daryl. No. Or Fortnite character. Um. How old are you, bro? 34. What? What did you say? <laughs> bro, what you? I'm 34 years old. Are you adding our age together? Oh, no, that'd be 24. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah, that would be 34. What? Because you're... 20, right? Oh, no, you're 19, right? No, oh, no that one 35. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. My fault, G. My fault, G. My fault, G. Okay, I'm 19. Uh, Full-time <laughs> full time delivery associate at Home Depot. And a lead at Alco Venture. Um, I did karate for uh, 14 years. That's great! <laughs> I was honest to make this shit good! I mean, that's all. That's all I do. Oh, and I do art. Mm. Tell me your Instagram plugs, bro. Oh. Um, at Emerald dot, I mean, Emerald Art Custom. For what? I customize shoes, clothes, paintings, um, logos. That's it. What's the other Instagram, bro? Uh, A R Art. I I three L. It's my main account. Oh. Mm. You got a boyfriend? <laughs> no. Glad. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't have a boyfriend. You got a girlfriend? No. Hey, it's 2023, bro. It's all good. No. All right. All right, there's Ariel's introduction. Let's ask these questions. All right, well, you're not too old. You're only, what, 12? So this question is kind of weird, but I guess you can answer it, bro. What would you change, if anything, about our experience growing up? Less watch fighting. what you say, because mom and dad are going to watch this video. A sibling? What? No, just in general. It says, what will you change, if anything? You don't have to change anything about our experience growing up. Like, our experience together, like, as a whole. Yeah, less, less fighting. Less fighting. You just used to bully me when we were younger. This is very true. Daryl was the, one of the most annoying <laughs> children in the entire planet. But now, we're besties. <laughs> right? So, would you say you want things to be how it was now? Or to be actually, like how it is anything, now. Actually. Yeah, I mean, we did fight a lot. Though. You did, like, it was actually you and Churro the most. Actually. Yeah. And now you guys are besties, right? Tyna, you guys like, hang out more and stuff, do stuff together, right? You guys used to have um, the same friends, right? Yeah. All we were right. best friend in high school. What? They were my best friend in high school. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, me too, bro. Because after I had my kid, everybody abandoned me. Because, you know, I've been abandoned. His whole life. Shout out, Raw Wave. Uh, so I only hung out with the boy Truro in school, man, with his friends. You know what I'm saying? 
I guess I can answer that question too. If I were to change some, I don't think I'd change anything because to be honest, I don't got a lot of family issues like a lot of people. Unfor like, unfortunately for y'all, not not to like to make offensive comments, but my family's not bad, bro. Like we, like, there's like no real issues, bro. Other than like my situation with my son, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we chilling, bro, for real. Um, all right. What do you admire most about mom and or dad? <laughs> oh my god, burp counter one. There's a lot of things to say. Because they both take care of me. They both love me. Even though I'm a brat sometimes to them. Is this true? <laughs> I can agree with that statement. You know, uh, both our parents are strong. They try their best to take care of us. I'm trying to do that for them too. I don't know what to say. It's a lot, but... Well, I will say... And I tell this to everybody all the time. I even have it on two videos. My dad is like, this might sound weird, but he's a freaking donkey. Because you know how donkeys, they put all these heavy bags on them and stuff because the horses get tired, but donkeys just be like carrying it all the time. He's like a donkey. What I'm trying to say is my dad is probably the hardest worker that I know. Full works two jobs. Still makes time to go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? And he takes care of what he's supposed to. Like, he's a traditional dad. Like, he takes care of business. You feel me? So, that's why I respect him. And I love that guy. I'm a mom. I was just telling someone at the gym the other day. Because they asked me, like, who makes my food and my meal preps. And I wouldn't be winning shows. We're placing hiring shows if my mom was not here, bro. Like, she literally measures all my food in the morning when she wakes up, preps it all, has it ready. I mean, there's like a list of things that she does. Because she's a traditional wife, traditional mom. It's not like you new chicks out here that be all trying to like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get into that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, yeah, that's why I admire the most is they just be doing stuff like they're supposed to. Everything revolves around their kids, basically. And they always say that all the time. They don't put themselves first, which I think they should for they some put, things. Yeah, like mom should work out more and exercise more and stuff so she can keep doing what she's doing. But, you know, she don't listen. So she's also a tourist, bro. She's hard-headed, bro. She's stubborn. She don't listen, bro. She loves her coke. And she oh, wait, loves... Wait, not the, not the other coke, though. Yeah, she likes <laughs> these. Uh, we got her like what four over there. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna skip that next question. That's a little too uh, devious. What's something you wish you could have told me when we were kids? Why didn't you tell me that? I, I can easily answer that question right now. For those of you who know me, and they always say, like, I have a question, bro. You already know. I got an answer to literally everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? If I were to answer this question, I wish I could have told you that I loved you more times I was thinking about that too. than I do now. Because I say it now. And I'm actually starting to become the older brother that I should have been. Years ago, because I was too focused on all these hoes. I was too focused on. I didn't ask you for advice till now. Exactly, we're just now. It's it's weird. Like we're just now being able to actually like talk to each other and stuff like that. We still need to, because uh, literally when we hang out on the weekends, everyone's in my room except for her. So I'm probably gonna start watching TV in her room just so I can be in the same building. I mean, not the same building, the same space. <laughs> You know what I mean? But that's something I would do. I would just say I love you more because I, I just it's just now clear that you know that I do, right? So even though I roast you sometimes, or sometimes we disagree on things, or uh huh, we're born on the same day, bro. We're the same person. You feel me? So that's just how it is. No, but now we appreciate being born the same day. 
Yeah, now we appreciate that. <laughs> I'm not doing that right now. I'm going to choke on the fry. All right, how could I have been a better sibling to you when we were growing up? I mean, that's kind of the same question. You know, let's skip that one. Focus more on us than the yeah. woes. Yeah, focus on us more than the woes. Uh, what is your favorite childhood memory of us? <laughs> Going into your mother's house, seeing him playing sports. All the, what's it called? What we used to play? Seeing volleyball, I think. Mm, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Going to your mother's house. <laughs> I would say... Or the Great America trips. Mm. I would say... Fair childhood memory of us, bro. Probably like... In elementary school, when I would go on the lunch line, you'd always run up to me like, Hey, Andrew, I love you! And you'd give me a hug. And everybody started, <laughs> la everybody started laughing at me. Probably no, like, then you snitched on me. You got like, oh, yeah, your friend. <laughs> yeah, and I snitched, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I was a kid. I don't try to get embarrassed, bro. But I don't care, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't even matter. I used to kick his friends in the leg. <laughs> I remember who it was. I think it was Efren. I don't remember, bro. I remember who it was. I used to kick them in the leg. And then you found out. And then they got in trouble. Hey, what's the worst fight we ever had? I already know one. I don't know which one. I remember there was one that you had to mad. Well, we both were like a mad. But I forgot what, what it was for. Because I called you fat. That's one of them. Really? Yeah, and then my girlfriend at the time got mad, remember? Oh. My package is here. Mmm. Wait. Can you think, man? Right before he runs away. What? Say thank you. Thank you. Can I get the camera? Yep, you too. What the heck is this? Is it mine? Yeah. Oh, it's my... Ointment. Ew. Anyway, what was the question again? Oh, my earrings. What's the worst? Oh, what's the worst fight? Oh, actually, there's that one, and then that one wasn't really a fight, but when my baby mom ever used to get like heck of mad and upset. Oh, and, like, I hate. Not gonna lie, I was right the whole time, but I always hated this chick, and I was mad at him because I did not like her. Yeah, bro. So we got an argument. I was always like, bro, just leave me alone, my girlfriend, bro, 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 with my balls, like, bro. You know like, what I'm saying, bro? I was like, I hate. That's yeah, yeah. To yeah, yeah, it was like weird stuff like that, bro. So I would say that one, but that was like, dude, that was like years ago, bro. That was like a long time ago. That's back in like 2000. I don't, I don't know, bro. That's probably when I was still in school, a sophomore year or something like that. Uh, who was the first person to break your heart? You can call him out right now because it don't matter. I'll beat him up. Oh, you remember uh, the guy from Target? No. See, and it was he broke my heart because uh, he ghosted me after that one time we used to talk. He, he was like, cause he ghosted me before in high school, and then the next time we talked again, he's like, I'm, I'm not the same. Like I stopped him a year, blah blah blah, and I believe that. Mm. Next thing you know, I left to L.A. He ghosted me. Yeah. And I was trying to call him on New Year's too and everything. And he Sam. said he was gonna he said he was gonna call me and everything when I get there. <laughs> oh, they're not here, and he ended up talking to this girl from his work. All right, guys will be guys either way. Man, that's crazy, bro. That's kind of weird. Uh, my answer, bro. All these answers, bro. I'm telling you, they're so. It can be so intricate with it, but I don't want to give out too much information because. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bleep that. <laughs> uh, I've only been in three, like serious relationships maybe the first one didn't really count but i mean they were over the t a period of time like two to three almost four years my last one but i would say the first two were not real because i didn't get my heart broken for real like it was not like that because it was just too much toxicity on both ends so i can't say that my heart was broken for real because i didn't even really know how to really love somebody and all that stuff. So my last relationship, and just by saying that, I already know all you guys know who the heck I'm talking about, which is kind of sucky. Was... But the thing is, I'm gonna be honest, I cannot get away. If I work in Milpitas, or if I work in San Jose, or if I go to Santa Clara, and that's where I work. I work in all those areas type of thing, right? All my jobs. I cannot get away from somebody saying, hey, aren't you so-and-so's ex? I know you. I kind of know about you. Even at my job right now, there's two people that said that. And I'm just like, bro, you don't know me, dog. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is because I actually changed my ways to an extent, of course, I still did some pretty bad things. But because I 
slowly was trying to be better and better and better towards the end of our relationship. And I started changing and started becoming myself. When I was told to look a certain way and to be a certain way and act a certain way, that broke my heart more than anything any other chick has ever done to me. That broke my heart more than getting cheated on from a different relationship. That broke my heart more than not being able to see my son because I was changing not for you, I was changing for myself to be able to be better in general and just in life. And when I started doing that, the way you guys see me now, if I was still in that situation, You'd probably be a whole different person. I'd be a totally different person right now because I would have been listening to somebody telling me how to act, how to dress and how to do my hair and all this stuff, bro. I couldn't even grow my hair out. Yeah, because we don't like him in buzz cuts. <laughs> yeah, I hate the buzz cut because it reminds me of how I used to be back in the day. A freaking asshole, a jerk, a toxic person. It reminds me of that. So every time I look in the mirror, that's all I see. That's why I'm wearing a freaking headband, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, I was fat too. But that's the first time I actually truly had my heart literally shred to pieces because I didn't know what to do from there. So I just left. That broke Sam's heart too. Yeah, bro, we don't talk about that. Uh, were you ever bullied? Did you ever bully him? I was bullied in like what, elementary. So yeah, we know who you were bullied by. We ain't gonna say names. Churro. A little bit. Churro. <laughs> high school. I wouldn't say I was a bully, but I used to be mean because these other girls kind of made me like that too. But but me and those people are good now because it's like it was kind of it's kind of stupid. And stuff, but mainly I was more bullied. So, <clears throat> kind of how it was. What the? Why is it silver? Mm. I was never bullied, bro. Because in haters. school, yeah, I just had haters, but because in school, I was always quiet, shy. Like, every I'm telling you, the loudness I have now, like, all my friends, like, I can count them all one and a half hands. That's how small my circle is right now, bro. The way I was before, shy, uh, introverted. I'm still introverted, too, if I don't vibe with you. I won't give you all my stuff. But if you see my videos and you're part of my handful of friends, you know how I act and how crazy and loud and, like, fantastic I am. It's not me before. So I didn't get bullied because nobody, I didn't talk to anybody and all this. I was causing no drama. I... I didn't get bullied, but I did get, like, looked down upon in high school after I had my son, of course, because, you know, it was it was made a rumor where I was a deadbeat dad and all this kind of stuff, but won't get into that. As far as bullying somebody, I would say I never really bullied anybody, but I was toxic in relationships, though. That's for sure, bro. I don't know if that counts as bullying, but. The only reason why I'm telling y'all this is because I'm not the same anymore, bro. That was a long time ago. That was like literally years ago. But I don't know if that counts as bullying, but I guess we'll keep it like that. Uh, what's my most annoying habit or quality? So you have to tell me what mine is, and I'll tell you what yours is. Stephen yelling at my face. And, <laughs> and Stephen pulled my <laughs> Oh, yeah, I pulled her blanket <laughs> off today in the morning to wake her up, and I accidentally pulled her pants down, I think. And I saw her bunk rag. <laughs> Who did it? She got mad, bro. I didn't have my contacts or glasses on, so I could barely see. Everything was blurry. I'm pretty sure I saw some crack. No, you didn't. I was even holding my blanket with my leg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bro. Mm. So my loudness... though <laughs> all right yours you, know, you walk around with your freaking underwear all the time when you're butt in my face <laughs> yeah uh let's see your most annoying qual habit or quality is the fact that uh sometimes you're very rude <laughs> now your sarcasm is ass <laughs> and i hate it. But that's okay. Uh, what memory of us still makes you laugh? It can literally be any. It can literally be something from yesterday or something. It doesn't have to be like super far back. But um, I guess I say the 
the one with, with you and Priscilla and all them. That was actually kind of funny. Oh, when we went out to uh to Jen's lobby. To Jen's? Why? Because they were Rihanna was just roasting you the whole time. Uh, no, but I like the the one that I was that I was referring to is when we were going back home for San Francisco and you just say all these things that you used to do and I was like, wait, what? Oh yeah. Kind of yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that was during Christmas, wasn't it? I think so. I think it was. Mm -hmm. I would say what what makes me laugh the most. It's just when this fool starts laughing. Because sometimes me, True, or Alex would do something <laughs> random or like Zessie and just start. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I just scream in the gym, you just start laughing. Because <laughs> that's your buddy. It seems dumb. Uh, do you think our parents had a favorite kid? If so, who and why? Me. That is such dad a Dad said bro. that. Dad's like, nah. no. He's like, hey, don't tell. Sorry, Dad. But he's like, don't tell anyone. But yeah, you're my favorite. And I was like, Thank nah, you. it's it's you and Chief because you guys are girls. <laughs> Mom, That's I why. have a feeling I might know who it is, but she just doesn't want to say it. Who? Me? Yeah. It's because I'm the firstborn, bro. Look, my my, parent, my mom. And, you look like, and she looked like you, too, when she was younger. <laughs> yeah, you look like twins, bro, for real. Bro, look. I put my mom through so many bad situations and stressful situations and things that she probably thought I would probably die one day, like, to be honest, bro, or, like, go to jail or something, right? And everyone always asks me, even my siblings, like, all of them always say, like, man, you always say anything, you always say anything, I mean, shut! It's because I did so many bad things. I'm literally just now, the past couple of years, making up the love and care for my mom that I did not give when I was younger and being dumb and caring about woes and caring about drugs and all that kind of stuff. So that's probably why they think that. My mom lets me get away with a lot of stuff. I just got some new tattoos. I know I don't have a boyfriend because of him. And then like, what? Wait, what? I can't have a boy. Me and Gabriel can't be in relationships because of you. Yeah, Actually, exactly. mostly me. Um, but Yeah, they let me slide. My mom kind of lets me slide with certain things and she doesn't let these fools do it. But yeah, it, whatever, bro. That's that's the reason why. He was right? the only one that was allowed to have a relationship in high school. I was never able to. Damn. Uh, what is your biggest insecurity? At, what was your biggest insecurity as a teenager? I mean, you're still nine. My size. What? Like my, height? My weight. Well, that's like right now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but that was before too. Um, as a teenager, if you guys remember me from high school, I had really bad acne. Did not want to go to school. Like, it was not even, when I say that, I'm not even talking about like a, a small one. one pimple here and there. Like, I have no, I probably have one picture. My parents probably have one it picture. Isn't that karate picture? But you can barely see it though. My face just looked kind of puffy. But when I say acne, bro, literally, I had to be on medication for like, I think it was four to six months, religiously. Mm, like, all over. Like, when I, bro, there's like no pictures of me or videos of me because I did not, I, dude, I got, I'm telling you, and when I say acne, it's not regular acne. It was disgustingly bad and I hated that. Also, I was insecure about like, actually, yeah, that was kind of it because it made me ugly. And then right after I bloomed into a beautiful butterfly, I literally, I have the most confidants in the entire world, bro. Like some people yeah, say no, I'm I, too cocky, he, bro. He's the, he's the only person that knows how the most confidence. Bro, because I don't care, bro. Because I, I know I look good. Look at me. Yeah. Anyway, bro. How did you lose your V card? not answering that one you guys can already assume what mine is i obviously have a freaking son i don't need to answer that question and i don't want to hear your if you lost your son what is your love language you know what that is yeah it's like physical touch or like uh mm. gifts uh the other ones like for me well, affirmations or something like that well like, for me like you look good i don't really care about like gifts it's and everything. Um, I guess words. I like when they're, you know. I don't know. Like, words are physical touch. But, like, not like. I don't know how to explain it. But I don't really care about the gifts. Mm. Um, mine's touch. <laughs> like, you know how, like, lions. <laughs> or like dogs, they like do this kind of stuff, right? Like I do that in my relationships, bro. And again, the last one, I got told stop doing that. 
I couldn't even express my love language, man. Come on, man. But yeah, that's mine. It's just physical touch. I just, I don't know. I just like touching people. It's kind of weird. That sounded kind of weird when I said that, but uh, <laughs> I meant to say I like touching like my partner. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what event in your life has had the most significant impact on you? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, you're too young, bro, to answer that question, to be honest. But I've lived a quarter life. Having my son, because it kind of forced me to decide early on where to take my life like after that i finally decided like okay yeah i need to be a personal trainer because i like fitness and it's something that i could get a job in easily and make some money type of thing also if i didn't have my son i wouldn't have been the riz god before riz gods were a thing at two at 24 hour fitness when i was in sales in fremont and hayward i would not have been the riz god and when i say that it's because i was not just risen up chicks I was also risen up the dudes as well <laughs> to buy memberships and training. I was literally the top dog. I'm not going to get into that stuff because it don't even matter. But just know that I was the best. You can ask anybody that worked with me. But if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be who I am or where I'm at right now. <laughs> it's like Moto Moto. <laughs> yeah, girl, you're the biggest in the world. You know what I mean? This is Seth, Shaniqua, Tiffany, my favorite, Ashley. I don't even know those are the names he said, bro. I don't know, like, bro. I, I don't know the names he said yet. Uh, let's see. What is something you wish more people knew about you? Um, I kind of don't want these fries, by the way. This is I hate McDonald's fries, bro. Just FYI. To me, I Answer the question, dog. I don't know. I'm eating that pie, though. Just call me something to go with. Which they knew in my heart. What? Wait, what was the question again? <laughs> oh, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> what are you saying, Gomez? I, I want people to know me from my heart. Oh, oh get out of here, dude. <laughs> I wish more people knew, uh... I don't know. Um... Nothing. You guys don't deserve to know me. Unless you really vibe with me. I mean, if I were to answer the question, I guess, like, um, that I'm not as, like, uh... A bad person? Yeah, like, I actually genuinely care about people, to be honest. Like, I'm actually, like, really nice, you know what I mean? But, I mean, anyone can tell you that, that, you know, hang out with me. Actually, stuff, me but... too. I don't want to know how much I care about other people, or, like, how much I care about them. Yeah, but you suck at showing it. I yeah, maybe I do. Like, Maybe I... I do suck at it, but, like, I yeah. try. Yeah, I guess so. Um... Let's see. You didn't eat the apple pie. I'm about to, bro. I'm when do you feel the most confident? Um, I don't know. <laughs> do you know what my answer is? <laughs> I feel like I don't find I don't know. All day, every day, baby. I'm confident 24 7. Yay! Oh. I don't even feel like, I'm not really confident, so I just say no, nowhere, I guess. Uh, what song or movie scene makes you cry without fail? Oh, bro, I already know this one. I can't even watch the movie no more. <laughs> well, for me, I say seeing Thor Ragnarok. Really? Is that where the new one was seeing Cheeks were out? <laughs> that makes you cry? Guy. Oh, cry? I thought it said, I make you laugh. That's why I was like, wait, what? Oh, make me cry. Um, Without fail, yeah. Like, you always cry when you hear the song or if you watch the movie, whatever it is. I've ever seen Jane the Virgin. I don't know. I've heard that movie. No, it's a show. Oh. I don't know if that's what he said. Mm. It's a good show. It's a Mine good. and Churro, I know you feel the same way. The Pokemon movie where the Mewtwo one, the original one, not the new one. It looks trash. The CGI is garbage. The Pokemon movie where Ash looks like he dies and Pikachu's all like trying to shock him when he's like a stone. Joe! 
Pikachu! He's all trying to revive him and stuff, and he starts crying. I can't watch that scene on YouTube, and I can't watch the movie because I start crying. I love Pokemon, man. Ash is going to leave us soon, and they're going to have a new protagonist, bro. It's so sad. That boy's been my boy since I was... We're the same age, I think. Go ahead. Um... Twelve fifty two. Oh, that was one. That's here. I mean, it's two. Almost one. Sorry, I meant to say two. Uh. Oh, leave me a free one. Uh, 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 uh. How do you feel about getting older? Um, sucky. <sighs> Living at a dog. <laughs> right, huh? Mm. I would say, yeah, it's pretty sucky, but because there's so many things that like I still want to do, but it's like time is so sacred. It's like you can waste make it. Everything worth it. You can waste time, but you can't make up lost time. I'm just spending these like gems. So it's like you kind of just have to live life the way you want to. And that's what I'll be doing. I don't care what I do, what I'm doing, or who I'm with. It's going to be a fun time, bro. You feeling me, bro? Come on, man. Now I'm thinking about it, the worst argument was the literally in Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what the heck? You forgot about that one, bro. That. Anyway. I forgot what that was about. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, bro. Oh, I was depressed. That's why. <laughs> What's something that scares you now that you hope you do? Before you die. Jump off the screen. What? <laughs> that I hope I could do? Ah. Mm -hmm. Go back in there and credit coaster. I'm just kidding. Alright. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Get married. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Find someone, get married. I guess mine will be a... Uh, Fun love. Heart been broke so many times. I don't know what to believe. Mama said it's my fault. Mama said it's my fault. It's my fault. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Guess it's best to put my heart on nice. Heart on nice. Because I can't breathe. I would probably say the same. I'm in, in solitude. I'm doing my own thing for like probably a year, a little over a year now. That's the longest I've ever been single, by the way. I'm usually always single for like a month or two. And I hop right back. Or not even two months, one month, because I'm over here slanging other chicks on the side. But ever since now, I've been single for like a year and a half, bro. Maybe almost a year and a half, I think. The longest I've been away from somebody. But it's cool because I've been able to work on myself. So I feel like now, uh, yeah. I'm kind of scared to try to invest my time and my energy and my soul fly, let my soul fly into somebody if they just going to waste my freaking time. Because like we just said earlier, time wasted. You cannot make up wasted time, bro. Like, I ain't trying to waste my time, bro, for real. So, uh, we just going to let the chick come to me, though. I ain't trying to chase. We ain't no chase. We only chase paper, bro. We paper chasers, not hoe chasers, right? I'm just waiting on that person. That's what I'm saying, bro. We sitting and wait, bro. It's all good. Time will tell. Um, That's exactly what we talked about. But I would like to be with somebody before I die, right? And yeah. build a family because I want to have a kid. More kids. I already have one. But you don't get to see them. Yeah, I don't even get to see them. So it's like, it kind of sucks. But um, that's one thing I would say. And also, like, bro, just like, I'm also... Uh, scared to not travel. Like I want to, I want to travel more, bro. The problem is though, it's like again, finding the time, making up the vacation hours at work. I just got a new job, so I only, I'm in there for like probably like three weeks, four weeks now, or something. Because I got the bid, so it would have been a month, I think. But I was out for a week, so it was only three weeks. I'm in this job probably, so. 
<clears throat> but travel way more with my entire family in my household though i usually go on solo trips with my friends or just her and uh iron trio but i want to take my mommy my my mom my, 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 my dad my, my, my little siblings you know what i'm saying i want to take them out to you know somewhere special you know what i'm saying like i gotta make that money though you know what i mean like you know what i'm saying i'm making them money i'm saving them Man, shut up <laughs> That new job, bro, I'm telling you, I, I took a pay cut. I always take pay cuts when I get new jobs, bro. I make it up like two years later, but then I leave. I got to stick to something, man. Bodybuilding don't pay me, but I pay bodybuilding. I pay bodybuilding. They don't pay me. It costs more to compete than it does. The, like, the, the run back you get is not, it's nothing. I'm not a pro. Amateurs don't get paid shit. But we still work as hard. Well, I work as hard, bro. I work as hard, bro. Nat. Damn. Ew, why are you seeing your boobs? Yeah, you know. <laughs> trying to disrespect and harass everybody watching the video. Trying to raise everyone up in the video. Bro, there's barely anybody watch these videos, bro. Uh, I just hope some people don't watch it, though. Why? <laughs> I'll blank that out, bro. Don't even worry about it, sweet boy. No, I meant the other one. Which one? Yeah. I'm just waiting to see whatever happens, happens. Man, shut up, bro. Now I know what you're talking about. I'll knock you out. Why? All right. The only thing I didn't finish was the fries because, I, like I said, I really... I don't know why people always say McDonald's fries are good. I hate McDonald's fries, bro. They're so nasty to me, dude. But I ate the two sandwiches uh, and the apple pie was fire. I think the Jollibee pies are way tastier, though. They got a little more cream on <laughs> and then the coke i freaking hate coke bro you drink more than me wait yeah a little bit i only like diet i forgot to get diet this is regular so it tastes like cheeks bro sorry mom <clears throat> oh my god i just give this piece to gabriel <laughs> but uh let's see uh I'm probably going to do uh, another video explaining my tattoos. Cause I got a lot now. Actually, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, my eczema. Nine, ten, eleven. What? I don't even see it. Oh, yeah. I got eleven tattoos right now. Yeah, one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And it hasn't even been a full year, I think, since I've been getting them, bro. So, you know what I'm saying, bro. But anyway, I got these new ones right here on my forearm right there. And the one on my hand, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's reverse camera. Y'all can't read. I forgot y'all. Uh, unintellectual. Just kidding. All right, that's probably going to be it for this video. Nice, good little mookie bang. Remember we did a video where we asked questions last time, too, in the car waiting <laughs> for Alex? Remember that? I think that was a longer video, though. But, uh... That one was weird questions, though. Yeah, that was weird questions. Yeah, this one was kind of cooler. It, this one was, like, more if we were, like, older, though, actually. Like, these questions were, like, make more, like, I don't know. They were kind of, like, old people questions. Like, if I was, like, 40 and you were, like, 30 or something like that, I don't know. Um, But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for sticking with us with this uh, little Mookie Bang that we did with the Cardi B and Offset meal, bro. Hey, Cardi B, you got a bad choice in burgers, man. You got that bad choice, man. I would have picked a little, something a little better. Maybe add some nuggets, you know what I'm saying? But to each his own, man. But yeah, that's it for the video. Keep looking out for new content. Probably going to do a lot more boot bangs. Oh, actually, maybe not because I start prepping soon. The prep series is going to come out really, really soon. Uh, my youngest brother, uh, Alex, wants to do the prep series with me. So he wants to, like, diet and cut down and things like that, too. So he might be... Uh, doing it with me and then she's supposed to be on a diet too by the way because we have a wedding for one of our closest family friends in valentina. april yeah shout out to you valentina can't wait to see you again um i'm gonna hit you up to hang out so we can vlog it too you know maybe do a sushi mukbang i'm gonna start doing mukbangs with like all my friends bro for real like let, we're gonna just do that i kind of like doing these mukbangs bro no wonder people are obsessed with doing it. No wonder that people get fat, bro, because they do this all the time, probably, bro. That's how they make money on YouTube, just doing, like, movies. Do Priscilla. <laughs> we did the Asian Priscilla. snack one. Before. Yes, you did that. We went to Jen's. Nah, because it's in a regular restaurant. It has to be, like, fast food or something. 
You know, you should try it. There's a place that, like, they <coughs> give, was it the belt? They give the sushi stuff? Yeah, I know. I've done that before. Really? That's yeah. really cool. They're nasty, though. Oh, ew. It's not that good. It's not, like, high-end sushi. Because they just rapidly make it. Like, in Drake and Josh. Oh. <laughs> hey, dude! They stick! Dude! <laughs> but, yeah, guys. Did you put a clip in there? <laughs> nah, probably. I could try. <laughs> Thanks for watching the videos. Oh! Also made a super fire intro video for Priscilla with her discount code. Whenever she posts it, I'm going to post it to you because I have to show my work, of course. But I want her to post it first. But I do have a very epic 15 quick, quick 15 second like intro video I made for her. It's so fire, so heat. Can't wait for her to post that for everybody to see. And then I can post it on mine because I, you know, I got to get better at editing. I got to show my work and stuff. But uh, yeah, guys. Prep starts March 11th. Don't forget that. So the prep series coming out soon. I'm going to try to squeeze in. What do I have? Like three weeks, two weeks left. Probably try to squeeze in maybe one, two, maybe three if I'm feeling fat. Three more mukbang videos if possible. And then, um, yes, those are the videos I plan on doing. And then, yeah, that's kind of it, guys. Don't forget, I'm not on social media. So if you want to hit me up, you're going to have to use YouTube. Leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not, it really helps your boy out. So I know that you guys are supporting me. And make sure you follow my sister and all her IG pages if you are not. And then look out for, like I said, more fun videos, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Yeah, thumbnail. What? Oh, man.